my name is Heather and welcome to another episode of season two of Cover to Cover Canva Edition. My series where I share my process with you creating a children's book using Canva elements. I'll include my copyright reminder here. And remember, this isn't a tutorial, it's just me sharing my process with you. So if you'd like more step-by-step -step instructions, then check out the videos that I'll link in the description. I have Lorene's book pulled up here. And last episode, we did the spread that was outside at recess. And for this episode, we have this little blurb here that says, we were told to line up we were all in a row, then the buses pulled up and it was time to go. For this one, we can do a spread and have the text on this page. And I think that since it says the buses pulled up, so there's multiple buses, we can have those like in a row and then also have the kids lined up. So let's go up and grab the ground that has the road on it. And we could also include the school because the kids can be standing outside of the school and then we'll have the buses coming in from the right side, which I think would make sense because then they're going to go back that way since originally they came this way. So I'm going to grab everything on this page and copy it. And then I'll come down here and paste. And this does cover up the text, but we could probably put the text on the second page. So I'm going to grab the text and I'll bring it up to the top. And I'm just going to drag it over to the second page because we'll probably have more room in the sky on this page. Let's also copy our sky color. And paste. And I'll also paste it here. And then I'm going to copy the ground. So I'll go to the layers because it's easier. So I'm going to go to position and layers, and then this way I can really see all of the pieces here. I held down command to pick just the pieces that I want, and I'm on a Mac. So if you're on Windows, you can hold down control and click. And then I'm going to copy, and I'll come down here and paste. And I can go ahead and spread the grass out. And we can move these around and flip them so they look a little different. Now we want to continue the pieces that are on here already. We want them to continue onto the next page. So I have this in a lot of my videos, how to do this, but basically we're just going to duplicate the element, place it right on top of the original, and then I'll double click so that I can crop it. And then I'm just going to crop it and crop out the visible portion and click done. And now I'm going to do cut and come down here and paste. And then I'll click and hold down shift and drag this guy over to this side. So now this plant here is going to continue over to this one seamlessly. And I'll do the same thing with the tree. So I'm going to duplicate it, put it in the same spot. And then I'll double click so I can crop it. And I'll crop off the visible part, click done, and then I'm going to cut, paste, and drag it over. Let's delete some of the teachers here. I guess I can leave Joey's teacher, but I just don't want it to look like a carbon copy of the other page that has the school. And now we can put the kids in a row here. I think this one of Joey with his backpack is perfect for him waiting for the school. Now I'm going to look in my recently used elements, and I think I saw some of these characters with backpacks. If I click on the three dots for this kid and go to the artist, and maybe in here I'll search for backpack. There we go. That's perfect. So I can just grab these same characters with their backpacks. This one's cute. He's walking. Maybe she's from another class because we haven't seen her yet. I'm not sure why there are no girls with backpacks from this artist. It's all boys. So let's just try searching in all of the Canva elements for girl with backpack. Oh, that's cute. 
actually this one looks more like the same illustration style so let's use this one i would also really like to include megan because joey and megan seemed like they were good friends so i'm gonna find her in my recently used and i'll click on this artist and let's search for girl oh this is where the other girl that we just used is from the girl with the backpack so maybe there will be one of Megan with a backpack. Let's do girl with backpack. Yeah, there we go. Too bad they have like the exact same pose. It would be nice if they had different poses. Although I guess I could at least flip this one so it's a little different. And I can kind of stagger her between the other ones. Maybe I could even have her a little bit behind Joey. Yeah, then maybe it's not as obvious. And let's add some little tufts of grass at their feet. And we can also give them shadows. So I'm going to put it under this boy and then I'll move it underneath. And then I'm going to bring down the transparency so it's not so dark. And I think I'll make the grass back here a little smaller too. And let's also give a shadow to the teacher. And now we can go to the next page and we can add the buses. So we can go up here and copy the same bus over. So I'll just do copy and paste. And let's ungroup it. And I'm going to take the kids out because they're not in the bus yet. And then I'm going to flip the school bus. Of course, the text is backwards. But what we could do is just make a copy of this and flip it back and then I'll just crop everything except the text and now I can just group those and we could get pretty clever and have the bus kind of going across the spread so to do that I'm actually going to ungroup it now because I only really need to duplicate the bottom part the actual full bus not the text so I'm just going to duplicate the bus and place it right over the original. Crop off the visible portion. And then I'll do cut. And I'll come up here and paste. And then hold shift and drag. And I'm going to make sure I move it underneath these flowers here. Now I can group these back. And let's duplicate this so then we have another bus coming. Oh, but here's a tip. Actually, I can't put this right here because KDP will actually see this text here and it will flag that and say there's text outside of the safe zone and then you'll get an error. So what I'm going to do is I'll actually just cover that up with a shape so that there's no text there. So I'm going to ungroup this and I'll just delete the text and I'll bring up a rectangle. And I'm going to make it the same color as the bus. And then I'll just cover up that text. Oh, and let's have the B somewhere else because we don't want it to be exactly the same as the picture we copied it from. Actually, let's copy him and let's put one down here. It can be over there. And I'm going to flip him so he's a little different than the other one at least. And as you can see, this one was a really quick one, a lot of copy and pasting, which is really nice. Once you start getting your environments established and your characters, then you can really do a lot of copy pasting and it goes a lot faster. But maybe I will just add a couple clouds and then I think we'll be done. Let's not use this cloud. I feel like we've used it like everywhere. That cloud is probably long gone by now. He floated away. Maybe this cloud. Could definitely use a cloud on this page. Now let's go ahead and preview this in Simple Booklet. So I'm going to go to Share, Simple Booklet Flip, All Pages, Save. Here is our spread. I do like the way it came out, and I like the elements that are continuing onto the other page. I think that looks pretty cool. So let me know what you think in the comments. What would you have done differently? And if you're working on your own children's book, join my creativity club on Facebook where we share our projects and support each other and help each other reach our goals.
I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, or as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.